So believe it or not, I live in Tennessee, Knoxville, Tennessee, and we had about a foot of snow the last couple of days, and we got down to about zero degrees. So the good news is it makes a nice backdrop for my uh, for my burp. Uh, so this is a review of the twice barreled special release from Jack Daniels. Uh, it came out this year, 2023. Um, they've been doing special releases now for the last few years, and uh, this is a this is their latest one. So let's uh, let's give it a go, try it out, and then put it up against uh, some of my other favorite ryes. Just before we get started, uh, I just want you all to know that it was zero fucking degrees when I took these photos. They look cool, but I was freezing balls. Okay, so here is a review of Jack Daniels Twiced Barrel Heritage Barrel Rye, 100 proof. This came out in this year, 2023. Oh, it smells great. It smells, you know, I always get that sort of banana on Jack Daniels. I can sort of, it's one note that I always seem to get. I don't get it on Jack 12, which makes Jack 12 special, but this smells delicious like a banana Foster's caramel banana. Mmm. Twelve ninety nine, old Forester. Um, mm, watch my YouTube video about the old Forester gift shop. Um, that's great. I've heard some people say it has a bit of a sort of a funk to it with the twice barreled, but I get a little bit of that. But man, that's that's excellent. Yeah, great mouth feel and all the rest of it, and really nice finish too. Um, I'm going to put that up against some other rise I have here and one that I forgot about. So stay tuned. Back out in the snow guys. Back out in fucking snow. So yeah, let's put it up against the standard Jack Daniels barrel proof rye and uh, one of my favorites, the old Colonel E.H. Taylor straight rye. Let's see which one comes out on top. Okay, so this is the one I forgot about. Forgot to get a photo in the snow. Old Forester. Focus. Fuck. Anyway, Old Forester single barrel. It's uh, 65.8%. Damn good rye. But, uh, so these are blind. Uh, but I think, you know, hopefully I can pick them out. <laughs> okay, so let's start with this one. It's definitely darker, but now... That's dark and that's dark, right? And these two here, <clears throat> I don't look it on camera, but a little bit less dark, so maybe I should have used colored greens. That's good. It's very spicy. It's a lot spicier and quite a bit hotter. Next one. Mmm, that's smooth. That's smooth and nice. I I think I know what that one is, but third one. Oh, I know what that one is. That one is spicy and super banana. So I'm pretty sure I know what that one is. Mm. Mm. Oh, smells, you know, it's the same as the other one, of course. Anyway, I'll I'll rank them and then I'll come back. But I, right. how do you rate these? Like on any given day, I I might completely change my mind. These are all four point nine out of five as far as rise go for me. But if I don't rate them, someone will get shitty. So number four, and I mean just four, Old Forester. Today for me it was just a little bit hotter than and, and but still, man, that's a fantastic ride. And these this is hard, right? Number three, my favorite, my favorite ride. But for today, doesn't for hey E. H. Taylor, straight rye. Such a good bottle. Absolute such a good bottle. And today, 
maybe it's just because I'm doing the Jack Daniels thing, so I'm in the Jack Daniels mood, but this came in second. There we go. Best ride there is, right? And and today, for me, maybe it's because this is the review and I haven't really drunk this much and I just opened this bottle and I'm... But it's just got a little bit more to it today. For me, the, the standard rye is excellent. Banana Foster's all day. But the twice barrel just has something extra, which today, I'm liking. But any of these ryes are fantastic, so... Thanks a lot. And thanks a lot to all the new members from uh, Bourbon Real Talk. Um, thanks for supporting the channel and coming on board, guys. We'll uh, see you around. I'm going to do a next video probably on uh, Bourbon and Facebook and the different places in Facebook. And guess what will be a highly recommended Facebook page. Okay. See you next time.